right, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is the number one thing that I see kind of holds people up when it comes to like troubleshooting a connection um, and they don't look at their IO tree, right? Or they look at their IO tree and they don't, they just see like a, you know, a, a caution symbol like I have on my program right now. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick, quick way and oftentimes I do see this happen is that this little bottom bar down here is actually hidden. So um, what happens is you can pull this up, like let's just say I'm on this pump right here, right? This is a PowerFlex 755, I'm on this pump. I can easily pull that up down at the very bottom and it can tell me all the description about it, the status, what is it trying to do? Is it trying to connect? Right now it's trying to connect, right? It's connecting. But the fault, the module fault right now is that the current connection request is an error, right? So obviously at this point in time we know where to troubleshoot it right we know to go look at the actual connection or to go look at the switch or to go look at the ethernet cable or to go look at the drive itself so this is just a good way again when it comes down to it i see a lot of times when people have that like drop down i like to keep mine personally just up a little bit so it reminds me all the time because i mean we're all creatures of habit right we all just we all go through the programs and and we all we maybe be actually coming behind somebody and actually you know troubleshooting the program from that point and this is already pulled down so what i like to do is by default just pull it on up and that way i can tell you know and generally if everything is healthy in your io tree you won't have a problem but like just like in this instance right here i'm showing that the io is not actually healthy so how do we troubleshoot that right so uh, we can go back and troubleshoot that many different ways. This will indicate uh, many different types of errors that you do have. So this is a very powerful tool, a very helpful tool to give you information about what could be potentially wrong. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.